With us now is Franklin Buchanan, and he is with Post Up Careers. Welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you for having me, Donna. I'm doing great. Hope you are as well. So you've been in HR for a while. Um, how did your career start? I started as a recruiter. So I've been in, in talent acquisition for a while. Um, I, I began recruiting a variety of roles in engineering, manufacturing, and professional services. And then throughout the rest of my career, spent time either recruiting or selling recruiting services. So what makes Post Up Careers different than your ordinary um, job seeking help? I think there's two things. The first is the, the personalized one-on-one -on -one attention that I value with my clients and that my clients value with me. It helps me learn more about their achievements and to tell their story in a more impactful way. And then the second is my background as a recruiter. Anytime I'm writing a resume for a client, the first thing that I do is put myself in that recruiter seat. And I ask, how would I go about finding this talent? and then approach the writing process from there. When somebody uh, uses like a different paper or different type font, you know, do people even like mail in resumes anymore or is everything done digitally now? This was a question that was asked me just the other day. Um, and I don't have an answer on the paper because I haven't printed a resume in probably 10 years. Uh, everything is digital. Now, when you go to an interview, you want to have copies of your resume and you do want to print them on, on nice resume paper that you can buy at your local office supply store. Um, but there's a variety of fonts that I use. None of them have any rhythm or rhyme. It's just a matter of what looks good on the resume. Okay. Um, and sometimes do you feel that uh, people need to have more of a CV instead of a resume? And can you explain to the audience the difference between the two? Well, a CV is focused more on what I call the academic industries. So academia being one of them, higher education, um, medical, legal, accounting seems to start going that way. Um, a resume, the difference between a resume and a CV is, is a resume is a snapshot of your career. A CV is a listing of almost everything that you've done. So if you're a lawyer, you're going to have publications. You're going to have bar memberships. You're going to have... Um, your GPA on there. And so it's a lot more comprehensive than your standard resume. And it stands for something. I want to say, I, I used to know what it stood for. Uh, C and then Vitality. The the top. That's it. I, I probably could have come up with that if I just thought a second. But yes, okay, so um, that's one way. And also, what about enhanced resumes? What about if you're an artist? Should you be putting photographs or things like that? You know, what, what do you recommend? Or should it just be words? So that's a great question about the photographs. When you're applying online, there is software that's scanning your resume for keywords and buzzwords. And oftentimes photographs can jumble that up. And I've read that it'll translate it to HTML. And so you just get a lot of code uh, on the application and that throws off the system and can spit your application right out. So I always recommend that you keep your photo off now, I was working with uh, a young man in film, and what we did is we created several links on his resume to his Google profile or his Google portfolio of films um, as we went through the document. So you could click and watch a film that he produced in college or one that he did for a commercial. And so that was one way that we did uh, with him. I like that. That's a great, clever solution because you're absolutely right. You want to, um, the old principle of keep it simple, stupid, right? Uh, but yet, if you have more to say, figuring out a way to say it. What's, exactly. What's trending right now, Franklin? What are some of the jobs that are trending? Is it like working from home? Like, what do you see happening in your industry? Working from home was already trending prior to the pandemic. Uh, what the pandemic did was just accelerate that trend to become trendy. And I think more and more companies are going to go that route because now you have a year's worth of sample size to see just how productive people can be working from home. I've been a remote employee since 2016 before yeah. Post Up Careers even was, was, was launched. And the difference in my productivity level in an office versus at home was astounding. And more and more companies are seeing that with their, with their talent. I do believe though that it's important to set up a homework environment. Like obviously you have an office in your home, right? You're, you've you're set yourself up for success. And I find that whether it's converting a closet or whatever could be done, 
you should find a space in your home if you're going to work from home that is just specifically for that. Absolutely. You can see I've got my office set up here. Um, the last thing that you want to do, especially if you're going to be client focused when you're working from home, is be at the kitchen table or the dining room table or on the sofa, or I have seen people still in the bed. Oh, no. And <laughs> You want to replicate an office as best you can. It's Some people don't have the luxury of having that spare room or spare closet, but find a corner somewhere that's a little bit quieter with a nice background. If you need to have a light, have that on. But make sure you have a professional-looking space for when you're having those meetings. Beautiful. Well, I thank you so much for joining us, and I hope that everyone that you're working with finds the career of their dreams. And if you weren't doing what you're doing right now, Franklin Buchanan, uh, for a career, what would you want as another career? I got asked the question of if you won the lottery, what would your dream job be? And my dream job would be the head basketball coach at the University of South Carolina. Woo! Uh, unfortunately, 11 years of youth ball doesn't qualify me for that. So that's what I do what I do. <laughs> I love that. A time for work and a time for play. Uh, you Absolutely. sound like a fabulous person. I'm so glad you spent a little time with us today. And I look forward to knowing you in the three-dimensional world. Thank you, Donald. It's nice to meet you too. Okay, take care. Thanks for helping bye -bye. people find jobs. It's really important. My pleasure. Okay, bye-bye.